Hey everyone and welcome to Comic Breakdown. If you are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the content that we have coming out. Now today we are going to be getting into Future State Robin Eternal issue number one. Now if you guys have not been following Future State, go ahead and check out the playlist in my description and at the top of this video. And with that being said, let's dive into this issue. All right guys, so we're diving into this one relatively quick because I really just want to get into it. And this one picks us up in Gotham City and we have Tim Drake, AKA Robin, going against the Magistrate. And he's not going against any Magistrate, he's going against these Cybers, these giant freaking robots that have been brought in to take on the masked villains and superheroes that are still at large. And Robin is here to fight them off. You know, he feels like it's almost his personal responsibility to continue the mantle on of Robin. And he lets us know, you know, Dick Grayson is ranting and raving in Arkham. Jason betrayed all of them to work for the very people that killed Bruce and Damien. But as he's battling this cyber, he's, he's really losing this fight. And this is when Stephanie, aka Spoiler, steps in and blasts one of these robots away. And this is when Robin asks Stephanie, like, what she's doing out. Because from what he understood, she hung up the cape when Bruce Wayne was killed. And they kind of have an awkward silence here. And then he just jumps into telling her what he's doing. Letting, letting her know that there's a shipment coming in. And whatever it is, it's supposed to make the, the cybers almost unbeatable. And then he asks her to team up. But, but she lets him know that, you know, he's just... She's not interested in teaming up, not interested in watching the people she loves die. And this is where she takes off. And so he goes to find help at Gotham City Custom Office. And that help comes in the form of Darcy. And he lets us know this substance that they're trying to use for the Cybers to make them unbeatable. It's Lazarus Resin. And so they siphon the liquid from the Lazarus Pit. And the Magistrate's been pouring money into trying to integrate it into experimental enhancements. And so essentially, it's supposed to make these cybers immortal. And the, the shipment, that the most potent shipment yet, is about to make its arrival in Gotham. And so he wants to stop this. And with her help, they head out. But on their way out, they're met by Stephanie, who decided that she's going to help out. And so the three team up, and they go into this facility, only to be surrounded almost immediately. And so Robin and Spoiler fight these guys off, as Darcy goes and tries to find the shipment so they can be able to get it off the streets and out of the hands of the magistrate. But before that happens, we see the arrival of one of these cybers that's already juiced up. And Robin goes to take it on, but is easily manhandled and thrown to the ground, looking like he's almost dead. But this is where he gets the Lazarus pit oil, or water, the substance, all over his body. And we see Robin Immortal rise. Alright guys, so personally, I've never been a huge Tim Drake fan. But this, this Future State event has really made Tim Drake a, a whole new light for me. This spotlight has made me want more. And hopefully you guys will agree with me as we go through this. And so our opening pages, we see Robin covered in this resin. And this wasn't how he planned for it to go. He knew it wouldn't be easy to sneak onto a magistrate convoy. And even with spoilers showing up at the last minute to help him and Darcy, he already knew it'd probably be a one-way trip. He thought if he died, that he would stay dead. But that's before he got covered in the Lazarus resin. And we see Tim Drake rise up and punch the crap out of the cyber so hard he knocks it inoperable. And Tim Drake in his head real quick just pieces everything together like he's got to focus on the facts. He knows he's not dead. He's on the magistrate convoy. Stephanie and and Darcy are there with him by his side. They're counting on him. He feels as if the entire city is counting on him. And this resin isn't tested on organic life forms. The resin he ingested, the resin that brought him back to life. And he knows what the Lazarus Pit did to Jason. And so he worries about how it might make him feel. Because right now, he's feeling strong. He's feeling powerful. Like he can save the whole damn world himself. And this is when we see the arrival 
of 30 magistrate foot soldiers and any other day Tim Tim Drake wouldn't think that he is enough for this but in this instance the way he's feeling he's ready to smash all of them and so with the the the, the girls look at each other and they're like all right Chan the, the the plans have changed we need to figure out what happened to Robin hop on that computer see what you can find going on in there and she's gonna go over there and help boy wonder but little did she know he didn't need the help and this is where we see Tim Drake smashing the heck out of all of these magistrates just tearing them to pieces one by one and then we learn that a peacekeeper has arrived peacekeeper number 13 but this doesn't slow Tim Drake down He's just plowing through these guys like it's nothing. And this is when he starts to have hallucinations. Hallucinations of Two-Face. Of him being younger. Of memories he's had. Of being told that he isn't good enough. That he would never be good enough. Never be strong enough. And this is where the shadow of Batman taunts him. Where Nightwing and Damien taunt him. He is literally being haunted by all of his insecurities. And we learn from the computer that the Lazarus resin is not compatible with human emotions. So somehow they have to purge his system of this. But right now is not the time because right now they're fighting through all of this. While Tim Drake is over here fighting but also hallucinating thinking he's seeing Batman. And he tells them straight up like he, he breaks all of this, gets focused and says the plan is to listen to me. We need a solution destroying the resin. Something that the, will dilute the compound. And so they get the idea to steer this convoy into the Gotham River. But to do that, they have to get to the control room. And Tim Drake knows that there's a way out of this. He's going to save the people he loves. He's not going to watch them or make them suffer at all. And this is where they come to a giant door. And Tim Drake opens up this door with his bare hands. And this is where we see the arrival of Peacekeeper number 13. And Peacekeeper number 13 wants to take Tim Drake back to Peacekeeper number 1. Because this is the first tested experiment with the Lazarus resin. Originally, this stuff is used for the cybers. To make the cybers superhuman in strength and things of that nature. But what we're seeing here is it making Tim Drake literally a superhero. With super powers. And as Tim Drake easily takes out two of these guys. Peacekeeper number 13 grabs a hold of Spoiler. But all Tim Drake is seeing is the shadow of Batman. Telling him that he's not enough. Telling him... That he just needs to let go of everything and give in to this, this hate, this anger, this pain, this struggle he's feeling. And so he punches the shadow of Batman only to see that he also punched Peacekeeper number 13. The hallucination Batman and Peacekeeper number 13 were one and the same in this instant. And this is when Tim Drake can feel the resin retreating. It's almost like it was scared off. And he's thinking maybe it has something to do with serotonin. And Peacekeeper number 13 laughs at them. Telling them they're too late. And they took Spoiler away on the last escape pod. And so Robin, trying to make his escape, calculates just the right time. The trajectory to the building is just enough so that he can do one last thing. And he throws her. Making sure that she's safe. He falls. Darcy and Spoiler are now safe. That's all he cared about. And as he falls, he says, Bruce, I'm coming home. And he splashes down into the water. And that will be the end of this series. So let me know what you guys think. You know, they, it kind of sucks these were only two issues, but I know we're going to see Tim Drake later on down the line. They're definitely going to be playing with Future State a lot more. We're going to see, you know, the Teen Titans Academy and things like that. So I'm really excited on the future possibilities and exactly what they're building for us here. Now, all in all, I have to say, you know, this was a really awesome comic. We got to see Tim Drake really break a lot of his insecurities. And granted, it was help with the resin, but we got to see Tim Drake not doubting himself and being able to use his full potential. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Are you excited for some more Tim Drake did you like this line or is it something you could uh, could have gone without reading? Let me know. If you guys haven't checked out Comic Breakdown and more podcasts, be sure to go check that out. We drop new episodes every Friday. 
talking more in depth about the comics we cover here on the channel, as well as tons of other stuff with uh, including WandaVision and so on and so forth. Now, as usual, this will be the third video for this morning. Be sure to check back in later on today. We will have the other four issues of Future State that came out this week up on the channel. So be sure that you hit that sub button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of that. And until the next video.